Hello my dear friends. I welcome you all to our channel Best Notes Tutorials. Till now we have covered more than 50% of UGC net. If you wish to see all those videos you can find all those in our channel and today I have taken up very important topic that is Animal Farm. It is a novel by George Onwell. This is an allegorical novel and uh, this has earned lots of awards to George Onwell as well. So we will discuss all the important things which is related to this topic. So let's begin with the explanation. Before that let us know about the novel. Here I have written gist of the novel. After that we will discuss character sketch and summary after that theme and uh, its structure as well. All right. So let's begin with about the novel topic. Here Animal Farm is a novel about a group of animals who take control of the farm they live on. Here in Animal Farm which is the topic of our novel here we find a group of animals. Okay, They were being governed by a human being. Later on they take control of this farm. Animal Farm is a novel about freedom rebellion and corrupting nature of power. Animal Farm, after reading this, we get to know the situation which was prevalent during the Russian Revolution. Okay, Russian Rebellion or Revolution, which happened in the year 1917. Alright, so this will give us clear picture of Russian Revolution. So, as it happened in that revolution, in Animal Farm also we find struggle for freedom. For getting freedom, there is rebellion. Alright, because the power has become corrupted. Okay, the power which was governing entire beings of animal farm they have become corrupt therefore there is rebellion for freedom and let's see the result of this rebellion the animals get fed up of their master farmer jones so they kick him out see these entire animals were being governed by master sorry farmer jones Okay, he was giving them orders regarding what they should do, what they should eat, how they should live, etc. So when they become tired of this man, they threw him out. They were successfully threw him out. Once they are free of the tyrant Jones, life on the farm is good for a while and there is hope for a happier future of less work, better education and more food. Here, friends, they thought that our tyrant leader is thrown out. Now our life is going to be very comfortable. We are going to get less work. We are going to get development through education and more food. But this did not happen. What happens in the story? Let's find out. However, trouble brews as the pigs. Napoleon and Snowball. Here, Napoleon and Snowball, these two are characters in the story. They are member of Animal Farm and these two are pigs. Okay, these two are pigs. Regarding them, we will learn in character details. Okay, However, trouble brews as the pigs, Napoleon and Snowball fight for the hearts and mind of the other animals on the farm. Here, Napoleon and Snowball, these two are pigs. 
in the farm. Okay, and these two wanted to have power in their hand. First of all, they wanted to govern their heart. That means they wanted to have emotional support from these pe these uh, animals, and they wanted their mind as well. Okay, it means they wanted to enslave. They wanted to enslave entire animals of that animal farm. Napoleon seizes power by force and ends up exploiting the animals just as farmer Jones had done. See, gradually the same condition was coming back in the animal farm. Here, Napoleon seized power by force. Okay, he utilized power in order to become the leader and ends up exploiting animals. Animals had thought that now their better days are arriving, but that did not happen, unfortunately. The power relied upon uh, Napoleon and he misused it. So now he became just like Farmer Jones. All right. It is to indicate that whoever ascends to the throne, all right, they become corrupt. They misuse their power. There is hardly any human being or animal, okay, uh, who being a king or the leader becomes helpful towards his countrymen. Alright, so this is the message. The novel ends with the pigs behaving and even dressing like the humans. The animals tried to get rid of the first place. Here, gradually, even pigs becomes like humans. It is to show that animals are much better than human beings. Human beings, they torture animals because they cannot speak. They cannot voice their emotions. Alright. So, here, human beings are worse than animals. This is the thing which is being reflected by these lines. I hope this much it is clear to everyone. If yes, I'll move forward. Now we are coming to the main point. In order to understand this novel, friends, you have to understand each and everything that I have written out here in details. Otherwise, you are going to have problem. Okay? You will not understand head and tail of the story. Therefore, please be focused. So here, in the novel, we find social and historical context. I told you, that it talks about Russian Revolution. Okay. So, propaganda related to Russian Revolution was shown through posters. Animal Farm was written by George Onwell and published in 1945. This novel is an allegory. Even though it is set on a farm and stars a cast of farm animals, it reflects the events of the Russian Revolution of eight, sorry, 1917. Please keep this date in mind. 17, sorry, 1917 is the date of Russian Revolution. And the same is reflected in this novel through Animal Farm. Okay. The animals, the animals are all clear representative of Russian politicians voters and workers i will show you how this novel is divided how the protagonist of the novel is divided okay it is divided between politicians voters and workers onwell used the novel to make his opinions on russian leaders heard here through this novel, he wanted Russian leaders who ruled at that contemporary period okay, to hear his voice also. What Onwell has to say regarding this re uh, rebellion, this revolt, okay, his voice should be heard by Russian leaders. That is why he has written this novel. Animal Farm by George Onwell is an allegory of the events of the Russian Revolution of 1917 i have already told you allegory means representing symbolizing somebody 
Okay, so this entire farm is allegorical to Russian Revolution. All right, it deals with the idea of freedom, rebellion, and corrupting nature of power. This also I have already discussed in earlier slides. So we will move ahead. Now we will learn who all are the characters in the story. The characters in Animal Farm can be split into three groups. The first one is the humans, the pigs and the other animals. Please keep in mind it is divided into three categories. Alright. First one is human being. Then comes pigs and then other animals. The humans are the villains, thoughtless and neglectful. I told you that animals are much better uh, as it is projected through the novel. Okay. Here animals are much more better than human beings. Human beings are thoughtless. Okay. They are insensitive and neglectful. They are neglectful towards the needs of the others. Okay. The pigs are scheming, clever and forceful and replace the humans as villains. Here Pigs are also very clever. Pigs like Napoleon. We will come to that. The other farmyard animals are trusting, passive and hardworking. They are the heroic victims of the novel. Here there are other people who are silent workers. Okay. And they are unsung hero in the novel. Okay. Each group represents a different element of Russian Revolution in 1917. Here, in Russian Revolution, there were different categories of people. Elite people, middle class people and lower class middle, uh, lower middle class people. Okay, so this segregation is shown in the novel as well. Protagonist of the novel. The characters in Animal Farm can be divided into three groups. The humans, pigs and other farm animals. Each group represents a different element of Russian Revolution of 1917. This also we have already discussed. So we will move to another slide. Here comes the characters. Main characters are Old Major, Napoleon, Snowball and Boxer. And secondary, secondary characters are Mr. Jones, Squirrel and Benjamin. Okay, who all are they and what are their character traits? We will understand in our next slide. Apart from these, we have minor characters to complete the novel. Those are Clover, the mother figure of the farm, a kind and caring horse, that sees the faults in Napoleon's rules but like boxer lacks the words to express herself. Here in the question you might get to write who is Clover. So here you have to mention Clover is a horse. Okay. Motherly figure in the farm who is able to understand the injustice which is done by Napoleon but not able to express. Okay. Next is dogs. There are good dogs named Bluebell, Jesse and Pitcher. Then there are Napoleon's dogs that he used to police the farm. Okay. They represent the secret organization of the police. If you remember during World War II, okay. During war, nations or countries used to keep private assassins, okay, private detectives. So, they are represented by this, these dogs which used to police, which used to, uh, which used to be taken for investigation or detective activities by the leaders, okay. So, these represents organization of the police or you can say detectives, assassins, uh, CIDs etc. Okay. The hens, they bravely protest about their eggs, 
being taken here another character is hens okay even though they are so fragile they can be diminished very easily compared to other animals but but still they are brave okay they are able to voice against the injustice which is being done to them next is molly a horse that is happy to be ruled by humans this different character sketch shows sorry this different character sketch shows that different people will have different viewpoint okay therefore there is lots of differences among them next we have in the list moses john's pet raven moses john's pet raven also a preacher keep in mind moses also acts as a preacher okay the one who uh, promotes good deeds among others by preaching their words good, especially good words of renowned sages and personalities the young pigs they speak out against napoleon and they are executed as a result so here it shows that the voice that was um, that was raised against the authority was diminished the sheep they interrupt debate on the farm with chants of four legs good two legs bad in the story we see ships they shout four legs good that means animals are good and two legs are bad that is human beings are bad they play a crucial role in napoleon's rise to power if you remember napoleon was in history if you go through napoleon was made by common people because he was a very good orator okay so when he got the support of common people then he became a leader okay and the same thing is being uh, shown out here mr pilkington an easy going gentleman farmer who spends most of his time hunting next is mr frederick a tough farmer who fights to get what he wants mr wimper a lawyer that the pigs hire so i hope you all are aware with all the characters now we will discuss about main characters in details here the first main character is old major okay old major is mr jones prize boar he gathers all the animals together in the big barn to make a speech here mr jones sorry old major okay old major he gathers animals old major gathers animals to give a speech to deliver a speech he tells the animals that mankind and mr jones are the enemy it is their fault that the animals lives uh, sorry animal lives are miserable here mr john is the one to say all this thing he points out how cruel the men are to the animals consuming without producing here in order to rule okay he points out the shortcomings of this government or this person he says that one day a rebellion will come the animals will overthrow kind sorry mankind and live in harmony so it shows that throwing out of the power which is prevalent right now old major is very intelligent well respected and excellent speaker and an inspiration to the animals so here he is very important person okay because he is intelligent respected he is respected by everyone and he is excellent orator or a speaker he ends his speech by teaching the animals a song called beasts of england after the speech okay at the end of the speech he used to make all the people all the animals sorry sing this song 
it is about a time when animals are free and humans are overthrown. Here, this is the situation which we see in Russian Revolution as well. Okay, when animals were free and humans are overthrown, their rights were taken. He dies shortly after giving his speech and the other pigs take what they learned from him and create animalism, a set of rules for animals to live by. Here, in that particular place, okay, there is a, no, a country, okay, which is being a, a group of organization which is being formed, not, not country, it, it's a kind of organization which is being formed with the ideals or principles of animalism. Here, this is very important. Old Major is partly based on Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin. Karl Marx was a German philosopher who lived during the 19th century. His ideas formed the basics, sorry, basis of communalism, basis of communism. His ideas are collectively known as Marxism, like animalism in the novel so here the animalism which is started in the story it reflects the ideas of marxism okay he developed theories on how power structure in society keep people under control if you if we read the theory of karl marx we will understand distribution of power all right so this is seen in this novel as well Vladimir Lenin was a Russian revolutionary who established a form of Marxism in Russia in the early 20th century. This leader also becomes very important because he was a part, he plays a crucial part in Russian revolution as well. Next character in the story is Napoleon in Animal Farm. Napoleon, okay. Napoleon is a threatening and fierce looking Berkshire boar. He is a boar. Okay. Or you can say male pig as well. He is one of the three pigs that take old major's idea and turn them into animalism. A system of thought that encourages the animals to rebel. So here, animalism was established by Napoleon. Okay. And uh, these animals are instigated to rebel against the nation or the organization. He is not a gifted speaker but is known, to, but is known for getting his own way. Here, somehow he became the leader. He did not have much quality as earlier leader had. He also manages to get the support of the ship. He encourages them to chant four legs good, two legs bad during debates, preventing others making their point. Here, when others used to put forward their ideas, it is the group of animals who were encouraged by Napoleon, used, they used to speak these lines, okay, four legs good, two legs bad, and others' voices were unheard. Others' voices were suppressed. This is what Napoleon did when he was in power. That is what it is being reflected here. He takes two litters of puppies from their mothers and brings them up himself. Two litters, two little children, okay, two young puppies from their mother and raises them. Once they have grown up, he uses them to take control of the farm. Here, for his own selfish needs, he provided shelter, food to him, no, to these litters and then later on when they grew up, he took advantage from him. Okay. After he has done this, he and the other pigs 
start to break the seven commandments that the animals agree to live by see before their arrival there was a set of rules okay especially seven commandments we will learn about this also okay seven commandments and but when napoleon came okay his rule disagreed with the seven commandments okay he eventually became as much of a tyrant as mr jones ever was and exploits the other animals here mr jones was thrown away by animals in order to get a good life but the condition became much worse when napoleon became the leader napoleon is based on the soviet dictator joseph stalin stalin was involved in the russian revolution in 1917 and came to rule soviet russia after the death of vladimir lenin in 1924 he ruled until his death in 1953 during his time in power the country was gripped by famine and fear millions of people starved to death and those who opposed him were imprisoned or killed here napoleon okay a pig right or you can say boar also male pig who is represented by napoleon he became the replica of joseph stalin his rule was not prosperous at all because during that period famine arrived okay everybody was under threat people were starved to death and when they opposed they were imprisoned or killed because this shows incapability of this leader as well the name also evokes the french military leader napoleon bonaparte who ruled from 1776 to 1821 who seized power after the french revolution crowned himself emperor and ruled france until 1815 this particular point shows that this novel is not limited to russian revolution it can be related or it is relatable to other historical situations as well napoleon bonaparte who became leader with the help of commoners okay because he was a good speaker it cannot be compared with another leader okay like jones but he was a good speaker because of which he was able to gather a handsome crowd all right so here napoleon shows or napoleon represents a tyrant ruler you must keep this thing in mind let's move to another character snowball in animal farm snowball is one of the key pigs who take the teachings of old major and turn them into a way of thinking called animalism so here i guess this is clear okay animalism was given importance by these animals this is another pig snowball is another pig who gives importance to animalism he is an intelligent and animated pig he comes up with new ideas and cares about the working animals he plans and he plans and ideas sorry his plans and ideas revolve around providing education and better condition on the farm there are good people also okay who is represented by snowball in the animal farm who thought about providing education and for the betterment of the condition of this farm he is also a brave fighter organizing the animals during the battle of cowshed so here his brave fighter who provided protection to this animal farm with his might napoleon does not like snowball's ideas and so has him chased off the farm by his guard dogs napoleon did not like his ideas because snowball was thinking about common people 
okay common people represented by animals right now in the animal farm novel okay so here he used his dogs to chase him away we do not see snowball after this incident he is used by napoleon as a scapegoat anything that goes wrong on the farm is blamed on him here when he was not present in the farm because he himself okay he himself napoleon himself had chased him away so whatever wrong thing happened he used to put upon snowball okay that because of this particular animal the condition of of animal farm is bad it is deteriorating anything used to happen they used to sorry especially and napoleon used to blame him napoleon also convinces the animals that snowball was never brave during the battle and was actually on mr john's side so this was you know this version of the story was made up by napoleon in order to gather confidence from rest of the animals but this was not true okay snowball was somewhat a good pig and he thought about common people whereas napoleon did not snowball represents leon trotsky napoleon sorry snowball represents leon trotsky trotsky was a political theorist revolutionary and a leader of red army after the revolution he was involved in russian foreign affairs and policy making he opposed stalin's decisions and eventually was forced to exile from the soviet union in 1929 he resided in mexico he was assassinated by a soviet agent in 1940 most of the family members he left in the soviet union were arrested and killed see friends at that time all the autocratic rulers used to keep private assassins all right in order to suppress the voices which used to be uh, which were used against the power all right which were used against the leaders so the same was done to him as well boxer in animal farm boxer a uh, horse is a tragic hero okay boxer is a horse and he is a tragic hero he is hard worker strong loyal and caring he also fights bravely against the humans unfortunately he is too loyal the pigs take advantage of this and work him until he collapses and they sell them to the horse slaughterer so that they can buy more whiskey this is the condition of common people they work whole heartedly and eventually they are the one who has to suffer till the end so this is re reflected in the novel by boxer who was a horse further when ever something goes wrong he blames himself and vows to work even harder here he represents a true sense of human being because this is the main trait of human being right to blame ourselves if we have done anything wrong this is reflected by boxer in the story and he promises to work even harder okay this is another essential trait of human being which is reflected by boxer so in the story it shows peasant workers of russia his uh, favorite saying are napoleon is always right and i will work harder he is the strongest animal and could easily fight off the pigs and dogs pigs here represents different leaders okay he never goes he never does though as he is too used to taking orders boxer represents the peasant workers of russia so here boxer is hard working it means peasants are hard working they accept their flaws and vows to work even harder they don't blame peasants don't blame to others 
even if things go in a different way than expected they were exploited by the tsar nicholas ii who ruled from 1894 until his expulsion in 1917 the workers were kept in a position where they never earned enough money to pay for food and accommodation the revolution of 1917 sought to address this problem but only led to more hardship and starvation under the rule of stalin so here the people in russia were already troubled by tsar nicholas ii and people thought that after throwing this ruler they are going to have prosperity but contrary happened and under the leadership of stalin the situation became more worse there even though they rebelled their uh, voices were not heard okay they had done it for their selfish interest only so nobody had taken care of common people so it shows that only the ruler changes but the person who understands the sufferings of common people never comes to power next character in the story is mr jones who was overthrown by animals let's see the details about him mr jones from 1954 film okay let's cut this because if we include film out here then it will be complicated okay mr john is the owner of manor sorry manor farm he neglects the animals spends most of the time drinking and reading the newspaper and not feeding them he is taken by surprise by the animals when they fight back against him and his men so much so that he is thrown out of the farm here the leader okay is represented by mr jones in animal farm and he was overthrown because of his negligence towards his animal or you can say in russia towards his countrymen and this had to happen okay if somebody goes beyond the limit okay of operation and exploitation the revolution is meant to happen right so this is what we see in animal farm as well he tries twice to take back the farm but both attempts fail the sorry he ends up dying in a home for alcoholics mr jones could be likened to tsar nicholas ii jones is the reason for the rebellion in the same way tsar nicholas ii was the simple term in simple terms the cause of russian revolution where the countrymen are not happy with the king okay they are going to rebel and the same thing happened to mr jones also mr john is replica of tsar nicholas 2 nicholas 2 was self centered person who lived his life uh, as a drunkard okay and uh, only thing that mattered to him was related to he himself not related to the countrymen therefore he was the chief reason of russian revolution here in our next slide we see squiller in animal farm squiller in animal farm squiller is napoleon bonaparte's sorry napoleon's spoke person squiller is another of the three most important pigs first one is napoleon second one is snowwill and third one is squiller okay like snowball sorry snowball he is clever and a good speaker and he is excellent at persuading the other animals he ends up being napoleon's spoke person he delivers his orders explains the choices and tells lies to support napoleon he delivers propaganda to other animals it is also hinted that he reports back to napoleon about what the other animals say this is the character of squiller who is who is in support of Nepo, uh, napoleon 
all right he is very good spoke person and in politics it is very much essential you can say indispensable quality if you are not a good speaker the countrymen are not going to follow you therefore he had qualities to the post that he is holding right now next character is benjamin all right benjamin is pessimistic donkey he is negative minded donkey benjamin is an old and pessimistic donkey no one on the farm knows exactly how old he is but it is hinted that he was been around for a very long time he is never enthusiastic when things go well for the animals likewise he is never surprised or upset when things go wrong so here we see benjamin okay who is a donkey remember okay animals name and uh, their character sketch you need to keep in mind here he has become very old because it's been long that he is there in animal farm so it it is hinted that he is there since decades he often gives rough sorry he often gives vague answers unclear answers some might say he is a realist he is close friends with boxer and plans to spend his retirement with him see benjamin has a very simple planning for him okay he does not think of high fi posts or any materialistic things he has a plain life and he wants to sustain it in that way he calls all the other animals to help boxer in being taken away by the horse slaughterers he calls other people in order to save boxer who is a, a horse hard working horse okay okay till now we have discussed all the characters in the story now we will discuss form structure and language of the story then we will move ahead the language used in animal farm as well as its form and its structure are vital to onwell's storytelling his use of persuasive language circular narrative and allegory are particularly significant in storytelling all these qualities has to be woven into the story okay that is what onwell did The form of a novel is the type of text and genre the writer chooses to write in. Animal Farm has a number of elements to it to form the genre. Animal Farm could fit into the genre of a fairy story, fable, allegory or satire. On the face, on the surface, the novel is very simple, a narrative with a lesson that is suitable for children. when seeing the narrative as a metaphor or allegory it becomes more complex the reader needs prior knowledge to appreciate the novel on this level see uh, friends this is why i told you in the starting of the video that you need to understand each and everything then only you are going to understand it because this is you can say miniature or representation of the things that happened in um russian revolution in the year 1917 okay so you we have to see this story allegorically okay or metaphorically let's move to journa fairy story the idea of talking animals and simple written style are element that fits this form this novel can be called as fairy story because animals are talking and these are going to happen in a story only children story okay allegory this is very important okay the farm and the animals are extended metaphor the farm represents russia and its experience of revolution in 90s mr john and the animals represent the russian leaders and people of the time okay so it is allegory it represents something or somebody clear now fable fable is a story that teaches a lesson or moral and it has 
animals as characters. Ornwell uses the action of the animals to teach readers lesson about equality, power, corruption and freedom. Okay, I hope this is clear. The story of animal farm can be fairy story, allegory, fable and satire as well. How satire? Let's find out. Ornwell satirizes the political leaders of Russia in 90s. So, it is obvious that when political leaders are incapable, then countrymen, they will protest. And this is why it is a satire. Okay, the things that happened in the farm, it is satirical incident to the things that happened in the revolution. The narrator in the story. The novel has a third person omniscient narration narrator. We see and know everything that happens and hear the character's thoughts. This gives the idea, this gives the readers an overview which allows us to come to our own conclusion about events on the farm. Animal Farm follows a simple structure. It is written in 10 chapters that can be divided into three sections. First is Dream, then Rebellion and Napoleon's Regime. Now we will move towards the story. Old Major Old Major, the prize board, calls a secret meeting of all the farm animals on Manor Farm. He states that a rebellion against their human master, Mr. Jones, will one day come. A cow starts the rebellion by walking into the store shed. The animal ends up chasing Mr. Jones off the farm. Now they are free. The animals all agree on the seven commandments that they will live by. Here we need to understand that animals were not happy with their present owner that is Mr. Jones. Therefore, they were accumulated okay, under the leadership of Old Major and they threw Mr. Jones out of this farm. Okay, And then they agreed to seven commandments because in order to leave we need certain rules and regulations, right? Certain principles. So, they thought of, they agreed to follow seven commandments and they proceeded. The farm is renamed Animal Farm. There is hope for a better future. The pigs start to order the other animals around and take more food than they should. Here, the name of the farm is now changed to Animal Farm. This is There is a hope of better future. It is because they have thrown away tyrant Mr. Jones and they, they are thinking of getting a better leader for them. They are of um, thought that they will get somebody better than Mr. Jones. The pigs start to order the other animals around and take more food than they should. Here, the pigs, okay, they took the advantage of this situation and they started ordering other animals. Not only that, they took more food. Okay, whether others are having food for eating or not, that is not their chief concern. They are self-centered, which is shown here. The animals bravely fought, fight off a human attempt to retake the farm. This becomes, this becomes known as the battle of the cow shed. Here, other animals, okay, they were united to fight other human attempts to govern them. They have already thrown a human being, that is Mr. Jones. Now they don't want any human being to rule them. The animals set to work building a windmill and Napoleon takes charge. Napoleon reduces the rations and rights of the animals and starts uh, breaking the commandments. After a while, Napoleon becomes the leader of that animal farm and he reduces food okay, and rights of the animal as well and started breaking the principles on which the farm should be running. 
there is another invasion by the men and the windmill is blown up here recently the leader was thrown out now they are trying to protect themselves okay now here boxer collapses whilst rebuilding it for the second time here windmill is you know blown off and boxer the horse he starts repairing we know that boxer represents common people or peasants napoleon and other pigs learn to walk on their hind legs wear human clothes and carry whips okay whips with which you know um, animals and human beings are beaten up here so you know even the medical concern was not there in napoleon whether the animals were hurt whether they were sick that did not matter to them what was um important for napoleon is the work okay for that even whips were used despite all their hard work animals of the farm are right back to where they began hungry scared and exploited by those in charge so their dream of getting freedom shattered when napoleon worsened the situation in animal farm they started thinking that mr jones was much better than this tyrant ruler napoleon major old major delivers a speech to all the farm animals he points out that their lives are difficult full of hardship and that they live in slavery because of the way farmer jones treats them according to old major all men are enemies all animals are equal and one day there will be a rebellion he then teaches the animals a song called beasts of england the song is about animals overthrowing man and being free so here we see old major taking crucial part in dethroning of this man okay farmer now he says that all men are enemies in order to take charge he says that all the two men a uh, two legged people are an enemies now in this chapter in this slide we learn establishment of animalism old major dies 3 nights later very soon he dies okay after this incident three pigs snowball napoleon and squealer take old major's teaching they turn into a way of thinking called animalism here these three people that is snowball napoleon and squealer took the animalism to another level the rebellion comes when mr jones forget to feed the animals here rebellion comes in russia which is represented by animal farm okay mr john forgets to feed animals and then the revolution is started then the same thing we see in russia also when the leader tsar nicholas 2 was not able to provide food to the countrymen the revolution started a fed up cow pushes her way into the store shed to look for food see this was high time it shows the rest of the animals go into help themselves mr jones and his men try to get animals back in line but the animals chase them off the farm here it shows that now animals had enthusiasm to suppress the suppression which is made by jones but how long let's find out they proclaim the farm belongs to them now the animals rejoice in their victory they change the name of farm to animal farm they also decide on seven commandments to live by that focus on animal equality and avoid behaving like jones 
जॉन्स मीन्स अथोरिटेटिव पर्सन ओके अथोरिटेटिव पर्सन सो अथोरिटी वॉज थ्रोन आउट एंड इक्वालिटी वॉज एस्टैब्लिश अकॉर्डिंग टू द एनिमल्स वॉज इट रियली सो वी विल सी लाइफ इज गुड आफ्टर द रिबेलियन द एनिमल्स आर हैप्पी दे वर्क वेल टूगेदर एंड मोर एफिशियंटली दिस एफिशियंसी वॉज लेस वेन मिस्टर जॉन्स हैड द पावर बॉक्सर इन हॉर्स बॉक्सर द हॉर्स always makes a huge effort his motto is i will work harder the pigs began to teach the others to read and write the napoleon steals some milk for himself after the first days harvest here we see that animals are happy because they think that their leadership has been changed okay and uh, john was powerful person but it was they were efficient to throw him out and it shows that he was less competent than anyone else boxer is horse always make a huge effort his motto is to work harder boxer who represents common people he works hard and he continues working the pigs began to teach the others to read okay it means that pigs whatever they wished it was transported into the heads of common people okay it means the power of mind was there in their hand napoleon steals some milk for himself after the first days harvest so when it is politics okay be it napoleon or anyone else if they are into politics they are going to steal and snatch things of common people so it happened here as well two pigs snowball and napoleon often argue during the meetings snowball sets of committees focuses on education reading and writing he reduces animalism to to one idea for the simpler animals that is four legs good two legs bad and the ship regularly chanted here there were good politicians as well who used to focus on reading writing and education of the common people but it was not sustained napoleon however thinks educating the old animals to a uh, uh, animals is a waste of money therefore he focuses on the youngsters particularly a litter of nine puppies that he takes away from their mother to educate them himself here particularly we find that animalism was reduced and education was prospering gradually at this stage the pigs start making extra apples and milk for themselves here now the common people sorry the leaders also became very self centered not only this they had become less sensitive towards common people some important plans some important complain but squealer persuades them that if the pigs don't get the extra food they need john's might return here this was the technique to get the people into order they said that john will come back if they are not going to follow the instructions this is enough to make the other animals agree with them the equality the inequality became the pigs and the other begins here so here you, as you can see that inequality between pig and the other animals we can find out here jones and his men try to retake the farm but the animals fight against the invasion here now the common men had become common animals in the farm had become so strong and they were so enthusiastic that whenever john tried to come back to rule they send him away the fight became the fight comes becomes the fight becomes okay the fight is known as the battle of the cowshed awards are given for bravery to snowball and 
boxer as well the animals vote on a windmill snowball suggests building a windmill napoleon thinks they should spend their time building up food stores instead as the animals are about to vote on the matter napoleon calls his dogs into the barn they are now fully grown and they chase snowball away napoleon and the pigs break the commandments supplies and food runs short and the pigs start trading with the humans they move into the farmhouse sleep in the bed and gets up and are later than the other animals so here pigs started taking advantage okay they slept till late and they started trading with the humans as well an accident occurred with some hens who protest against unfair treatment and refuse to hand his eggs over so again this tyranny against this torture came back in this area napoleon stopped their food and nine of them died as died as a result the man invade and blow up the windmill the animals finish the windmill for the second time but with longer working hours and less food during another attempt invasion by the men the windmill is blown up okay windmill was destroyed because of another invasion the pigs then break another commandments by drinking alcohol to celebrate the victory of the invasion here pigs started enjoying giving up their commandments rules and regulations the farm is proclaimed a republic and a president is elected but there was only one candidate to vote for that is napoleon boxer collapses and is sold to horse slaughterer this is second part boxer call falls whilst rebuilding the windmill boxer is a horse and he is a very hard working animal all right when he was repairing this windmill which had destroyed he okay let's see what is there ahead the pigs claim they will look after him but sell him to a dog slaughterer squealer lies to the un animals telling them that napoleon ensure ensured the boxer got best treatment possible the pigs use the money from the sale of boxer to buy whiskey so here i think it is clear everyone the pigs become just as bad as mr johns here mr john is the owner and pigs represents three pigs okay the pigs they start behaving like humans like humans means they are intolerant okay they are torturous they are self centered time moves on and the pig grow fatter whilst the other animals work harder and are less and are given less food they now can't remember if they were better if they were better or worse off under the rule of mr johns they started comparing in his mind that if the pigs learn to walk on two legs and and have adopted all of mr johns bad habits and old major told them to avoid this in his speech here pigs started being like humans it means that they uh, they were adopting human nature not only that they started wearing dresses like human okay pigs started wearing like human beings their dress up their way of thinking their way of acting was similar they invited the humans they once fought against to the farm napoleon declares that the farm will be called manor farm again the animals watching the meeting cannot tell the difference between the human and the pigs here both of them becomes one eventually because 
they become insensitive they become intolerant about others in the farm by this the story ends okay so here we get to learn that leaders are self centered leaders are uncooperative common people are sincere but they don't have time and mind to look after this political things therefore they give up so everybody should be aware regarding this and should not give away being careful let's move towards themes here you will find class equality inequality power control and corruption these are the four things where which uh, these are the six things which comes in the story these themes are explored through the events and characters in the novel and are an allegory for russian revolution the animal's unhappiness represents class struggle this leads to the rebellion which offers some quality some equality then the pig's action allows inequality back on the farm the theme of power and control is explored throughout the novel and is highlighted by character's re- relationship on the farm this we have already learned learned okay pigs took over the charge after johns and animals were thinking that the things will change it will become better but contrary happened theme are the themes are political and explore what happened within russian society in 1917 onwards onwell originally subtitled the novel a fairy story suggesting he intended it as a fable animal farm is an allegory for the russian revolution it is important to remember that even though the novel is based on events that took place in 1917 the themes are still relevant today this is absolutely true the theme okay the characters and entire story line is relatable to today's situation and then situation as well okay this is wonderfully written therefore it is a masterpiece class in animal farm the animals on animal farm like the russian working class broke fire of their chains now here they wanted freedom okay russian workers wanted freedom before the revolution of 1917 tsar nicholas ii ruled russia the ruling classes had money and power whilst most of the population were poor exploited peasant peasant workers or from the working class these animals lived in terrible conditions and they f- formed they farmed their farm what they farmed was taken from them leaving them to face starvation and poverty In Animal Farm, Onwell uses the animals and their action to make the readers think about equality and inequality. Before nineteen hundred and seventeen, the majority of Russian people suffered from great inequality. They had far less money and food than the ruling classes. Likewise, before the revolu- rebellion in Animal Farm, Mr. Jones takes everything that the animals have away. from them so here so here we get to see that inequality prevails and nobody does anything in order to eradicate this inequality so this is the thing further we will see the animal farm onwell in animal farm onwell explores equality inequality through 
After the rebellion, the animals are free from tyranny of Mr. Jones and seek to establish equality among themselves. But unfortunately, they fail. Okay, that is another thing. One of the commandments is all animals are equal. However, this equality is short-lived and pigs begin to bend the rules until inequality returns to the farm. So, here we see inequality which is brought into animal farm by pigs. Okay, three pigs are represented, especially Napoleon does that. The inequality between the animals and mankind returns. The equality that the animals seek to establish after the rebellion, the inequality that begins after that begin that begins again after the pigs take control. Okay, it talks about inequality, quality and inequality. Alright, so and throughout the novel we find the theme of equality and inequality in different situations. Now let's talk about power and control. Farmer Jones tries to keep animals under his control. This is this shows power. Power and control is one of the most important theme in animal farm. That is very much true. Onwell explores political power. Mr. Jones owns the farm and the animals and uh, uses his men and whip okay, to keep them under control and maintain his power. So, obviously, the novel is, novels, one of the themes is power. Onwell shows that the animals have the power to challenge Mr. Jones, control and take over the farm using power in a positive way. So here Onwell tries to say that two you know, uses of power, one is positive and another one is negative. Negative power is shown by Napoleon who wants to govern and uh, uh, Mr. Jones as well. Okay, but com there are common people also who unitedly fought and they were able to dethrone the present ruler, that is Mr. Jones, uh, Farmer Jones. All right. So, through, uh, you, uh, you know, through unity, everything is possible. This is also shown in the novel. He then explores how the pigs are rhetoric and propaganda to establish themselves in power and take control of the farm. Here, then it talks about controlling, okay, control of the farm, control of the organization. It is interesting that the working animals, especially boxer, the horse, have great physical power, but they don't use it to break free from the control of pigs. Even after having power, if somebody does not want freedom, then nobody can help them out. Somebody should make them realize that the power that they have, it should be used in a positive and constructive way to make things easier, not only for their themselves, but others as well. Onwell explores the idea of power leading to corruption. This is correct. Napoleon, after becoming the leader, became corrupt. Okay, he started keeping things for himself at first and then he started other misuse of power as well. Here, many of the characters in the novel are eventually corrupted by the power they have, particularly the pigs, as they manipulate their position of leadership to exploit other animals. In Animal Farm, Onwell explores power and control through Mr. Jones, exploiting his power and treating animals badly. The rebellion and how the animals use power to take over the farm. The pigs and how they cleverly control the other animals. So it talks about power and controlling other beings in the novel. Friends, I hope the story is clear to you all. And if you have any queries, you can drop a message. I will try my best to clear it out. So, all the best for your examination. Prepare well. All the best. Thank you.